What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to a community build exploration kind of thing that we're going to do. Uh, now I've got an actual Space Busters video coming up pretty soon, but it's, you know, it's kicking my butt when it comes to trying to get it to work. Because it involves breaking the game a lot, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're going to do this for right now to carry us over into when the Space Busters video should, uh, should release. So what we're going to do in this episode, or in this video, is we're going to be exploring a build that was created by one of our Discord members, True Joshi. What he did is he made a Big Red 2.0. Now this isn't that. This is just Big Red. Uh, because I want to show you guys what actual Big Red looks like before we go into what the, uh, the second Big Red 2.0 looks like. Supposedly... And I haven't really taken a look at it that much. Big Red 2.0 is faster, stronger, larger, crazier, cooler, etc, etc. It's all the things. And it's right behind that wall. <laughs> okay, so let's first explore Big Red in uh, 1.0 and find out what makes it tick. And then we'll move on to the other one. So Big Red 1.0 is characterized by like a kind of a kind of big body. It's actually kind of really fat. Don't mean to body shame my ship here. But uh, this was made by me, by the way, in our, in our um, Space Engineers... Um, let's play series if you guys aren't aware of, of uh, this. This is Big Red. And essentially, you know, it, it, it's got some thrusters. It's really my first ever big ship that I ever made. So, you know, it, it, it holds a place in my heart. And it's one of the only big ships I've ever made. Uh, but yeah, it's got, it, you know, it was going for kind of like this, I don't know, the, the, the fans kind of on the outside sort of thing. And I think it looks really cool, but then we kind of had to add on an extra fan because it wasn't working very well. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's characterized by this kind of big bulky shape. Um, it's got an actual hanger at the top. You can open that and see what's uh, what's cool about that. It's got a skylight, which is really cool. This is something that a lot of ships don't have, but we have it because we're luxury here in the Andrew Man Gaming Let's Play uh, universe. So we got a hanger up here, and the hanger is meant to store just a bunch of ships, and it has stored a bunch of ships in the Let's Play, so it works pretty well. Um, in the newest edition, we actually have jump drives up there as well, but I didn't, that, that didn't carry over here. Uh, the whole ship is pressurized. So let's hop inside. And I'm not going to spend that much time going over this, just kind of looking at the rooms. Uh, we got the nice little cockpit, lots of empty open space here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can even go in front of it if you need to, like if you're the captain, you can be like, Oh, look out below, and like tell your people that they need to do stuff. So yeah, that's that. It's got some like top mounted uh, things, which is also really cool. Uh, if we go down here, it's got like the main sort of assembly area. So we got our assemblers and refinery right over there. This uh, health area. So just this front area is just kind of the area where you can just chill and, you know, get he healing, do some work and stuff like that. Moving on, we've got just some storage along the sides. Uh, and then on the side over here, we've got a nice viewing port out the side window so you can see stuff, which is really cool. I really like this aspect of the ship. In fact, you can also, well, you can't see it there, but you can also, if you go over here, see the engine, which is also really cool. Again top luxury class stuff. Uh, now we've got an up and a down way. We're going to go up first. Up is where you can access this stuff. You know, you can access the container right there. You can access the container right here. It's cool. And then you can come out the back side over here. Uh, so this is getting toward the back of the ship, and we'll go over there in a second. That's That, that hooks up with the down way over there. Uh, toward the back of the ship, we've got just another large storage area and the power, the main power area of the, of the ship. Uh, yeah, and then lots of stuff. And of course, the skylight you can see out of it. Which is really cool. Lots of empty space on this ship. That's one of the things that, that probably could be improved. Is that space could be used more efficiently. Um, and then if we go down here, of course, this is the way out. So you can actually open this. Look at that. Look at that entrance right there. Boom. We close it because we're, we're not cannibals. Or we weren't raised in a barn. Close the door behind you. We've got our gravity generator here, right here. And then finally we have our way out. Right there. And you can, of course... Well, it's kind of hard to step up right there. That's another thing that could probably be improved. So things that could be improved about this ship is probably the shape, uh, the amount of wasted space inside, not the YouTuber, uh, the, I don't know what else. Those are the main things, really. Probably could use for more, more hydrogen storage as well. Also, the weapons could be upgraded, maybe. This doesn't have very many weapons. And, of course, the mobility could be better. Okay, that's Big Red 1.0. Now let's take a look at Big Red 2.0, which is just behind this, this thing right here. I really want to see what he's done to it. I mean, I've seen the outside a little bit, but, but I really want to see the inside and see how she flies and that sort of thing. So let's take a look. Let's unveil Big Red 2.0, made by True Joshi from our Discord. And here we go. There she is. That is so much larger than this one. And slimmer. Oh my god, I think it's actually like skinnier on the top. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Oh, and it's got so many more weapons as well on the front. Because mine doesn't have any weapons on the front. It's that, you know, I probably could have added some there. That would have been really nice. It's got a sneaker build for sure. 
but it's definitely followed the same shape. Like we've got the, the characteristic thruster on the front, although it's a little more hidden this time. Uh, in fact, it looks like he's added way more thrusters on the front as well uh, compared to compared to Big Red 1.0. Big Red 1.0 did have lots of mobility problems, so this should maybe help some of that. I guess we'll see because we're going to do some test flights. Oh man, more weapons. Weapons everywhere. Look at this. Lots of weapons on the sides. Big Red 1.0 doesn't have any rocket launchers. Ooh, that's actually really nice. A door right here. Oh, and it's a it's a pressure lock door too. Well, let's let's finish on the outside and then we'll go to the inside. Um, it's got that same kind of style right here, although I think he did it better. It looks more part of the ship. It's sleeker, whereas mine just kind of juts out a little bit. Way more thrusters pointing to each side, which is probably really good. Um, we got that same sort of uh, sort of like windows on the outside, and in fact, I think it's larger. It goes longer than Big Red 1.0's does. Uh, double. Ooh, this is nice actually. Double thrusters in the middle right here to go down. And then we got another thruster in the back right there. So in total, we've got four on this side and four on the other side. That's eight thrusters going down. That's really cool. And so many thrusters going to the side. Oh my gosh. This is... And they're both atmosphere and ion. Uh, more weapons, of course. Can never have too many weapons. Got some nicely placed solar panels, I've got to say. That's another thing about Big Red. She had solar panels on the top. But I, I do like the design of this one better, I think. Where they're kind of like zigzagged. And then he's even got some on the back right there. Uh, let's take a look at this back right here. Kind of a sloped... Ooh, I like that. Wow. Kind of a sloped uh, entrance to the hangar, which we'll take a look at in a second. And he's got the button right here, too. I really like the slope. That's cool. So things just kind of come out and shoop, go right up instead of going in like this one does. And as a result of doing this, he can make it much like sleeker, which is really cool. Uh, he's got some connectors on the top for ships that are going to be stored outside. He's got some lights. <laughs> things I failed to add. Uh, more solar panels. Oh, what is this? Like a... What is this? Is this just like a chill area? Oh my god, I like it. Now, granted, when I built Big Red 1.0, there were no uh, decorations packs. But still, I, I find this a very good use of those. It looks really nice. And then on the back... Oh, shoot, what is this? Oh my god. It, is that a meeting area? That is so cool. And the design of the window is just really cool as well. Let's see what else we got. Lots of thrusters on the back. Oh man, this this is probably a... He probably overkills on mobility. The, how many thrusters over there compared to... Well, we have a tree in the way. Let me just knock over that tree. Boop. There we go. Compared to how many thrusters on this one? One, two, three, four, five thrusters total compared to this many? That's crazy. Are there any other entrances to the ship, I wonder? Other than those front ones? I want to check that out. Because if there's not, I feel like another entrance would do really well. And I'm not currently seeing any, but, you know, it's it's a big ship. I mean, there's, of course, this. Should we go... Let's go in the hangar first. I feel like that's that's going to be really cool. All right, let's open the hangar. I'm very impressed with this. This, 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 this hangar thing looks super cool. Oh, man. Wow. That looks really cool. Lots of vents for, for like, being able to breathe. <laughs> being able to breathe quickly, I might add. Uh, places you could connect the ship to on the top of the thing. That's something I didn't think of when I was making Big Red 1.0. They all connect on the side. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. Well, no, we'll keep it open. It's fine. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. It's got a lot more design compared to Big Red 1.0, which was like a just kind of like a big open floor. This one's got a lot more shape to it. And in fact, it looks like if you go up, you'll even get to this sort of uh, sort of top area where you can just look down. That is really cool. Now, I think maybe it could use more color in here, like, other than red. <laughs> but it is called Big Red, so that's that's totally okay. I like this so far. This is really cool. Okay, let's go inside this door right here and see what this is. So in Big Red 1.0, this would have been a long hallway going toward the uh, the cabin. Oh my god, he's got the same thing. Or the cockpit, not the cabin. The the main area. Yeah, he's got sort of the same... It's, it's similar. I mean, it doesn't have a door at the other end for... for uh, for cutting off the oxygen. But he does have the double door right there, so I guess it's fine. Oh man. Oh man, this is cool. This is such a nice cockpit. Or uh, what, what would you call it? A command area. Even though I thought the back was the command area, this is super nice. You've got all these chairs right here where people can talk. People who are paid way more than they should be <laughs> can talk about stuff. Then you've got like the people who do the actual work right here. Then you've got I don't know, what is this? The captain's chair, I guess, where you would sit and... Oh, man, that is... Wow, that is really nice. I like it. 
And of course, these are those doors on the sides. So I imagine they just go straight out, don't they? Yeah, they go straight out. Is there like a, a way down once you're out here? Or you just kind of, you have to fly? I figure you probably have to fly. But you got a gun to protect you. <laughs> or if you're an enemy to, to make it so you can't leave. How did you? Let me, let me remove all the oxygen and see how fast it comes back. Okay, you currently got no oxygen. Oh my god! <laughs> it refills it like instantly. That is crazy. Ooh, and then the way down. I think he's got it on both sides too. Very big red, big red, uh, 1.0 esque. Go straight down. Oh, and you've got like, okay, monitors. That's always a good sign. That's pretty cool. Was this like this is just a, like a bar, like an eating area? Oh man, there's too much to this ship. Let's let's go up first. Let's climb. Let's ascend. Ooh, okay. So this is where you'd be put in cryo sleep for a long time, presumably. That's nice. I like this. See, Big Red 1.0 had none of that. <laughs> no cryo chambers. No area you could chill. Just kind of like, just kind of more ship. Um, let's see. We've got, you know... Oh, here's the med bay. Actually, that brings up a good point. In Big Red 1... In Big Red 1.0... The med bay would have been under this. So what actually is under this, I wonder? I guess that's the maintenance area. Oh my god, so many doors. <laughs> I guess that's the maintenance area. Let's go into the maintenance area then. Again, double doors. Nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, that could probably use with a, a nice uh, something to get you up. Oh man, that is cool. I guess it's just an access... Yeah, that is really cool. It's just a way you can access all of the stuff. You can kind of come back here too. Oh man, you can get everywhere through this thing. I like this. This is like a secret passage. So if anything's broken, you could just come in here and, and uh, repair it. Wow. True Joshi did an amazing job on this. This is really good. And I imagine the other side's probably a, a um, duplicate version of that. There's got to be something. I mean, you can't open this, can you? Because that's a lot of space, just right in the front. But I guess we'll find out, because maybe these doors go there. <laughs> no, that's the toilet. Sorry. More toilets. Are these all toilets? It looks like they might all be toilets. And then on the same side as well? That is a lot of toilets. But I guess if you have a big crew, uh, toilets are important. It's important to have a lot of them. Let's go up to the side right here. So this is where those windows would be on the original Big Red. And it looks like it's the same thing here but larger, so you have more windows. I'm seriously wondering what he did with that space. Maybe there's nothing, no, there's clearly something down there. I don't know what it is, but I like these windows. I like how big they are. Uh, I think I probably would have done the same thing I did with that one where it would have been, where it would have wrapped around, but maybe there were extraneous circumstances where that could not be the case. But still, I like these. Good, good observation points where you can just check out stuff. Let's go back down here. I imagine again, I'll, I'll fly over. I imagine the other side is the mirror image of what we just saw. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it might be. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go check out the back area. Which, the back area, oh man, this is going to be cool. This was that big command area in the back. And we'll go up top first. Ooh, that's kind of a, that's kind of close right there. <laughs> Very claustrophobic. Let's go in the back right here. Oh man. Oh, I like this. This is cool. And it kind of blends in with the ship a little bit, too. Like, it doesn't jut out that much. Like, it looks like it does up here, but... But when you're outside, you, it looks like it's just part of the ship. Like a normal part. This is cool. With the other one, you pretty much have to, like, run all the way up there to check out stuff. But with this one, you can just sit in any seat and just look out. And have a meeting right here, play some cards while looking at space. Man, he's turned it in... He's turned it from, like, uh, like an exploration vessel to like a cruise ship is what it kind of looks like. So you can do anything you want right here. That would be beautiful. Imagine being in space and having this view and being able to check stuff out. Maybe we'll go to space at the end and check it out from here. Let's go down here because it looks like there was another command area if we go in through these doors. Ooh, plants. Extra points for being green and more plants. Ooh, lots. Okay, those are making a very, very loud hissing noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Wow, so this is this is pretty cool. This is like a large meeting room where you would need to like... I don't know, I guess you'd get all the commanders and stuff in here. Or maybe it's like a briefing room where you'd get a bunch of people. 
They've got like a chill area on the side. Maybe there's not enough seats for everybody, so like someone sits down right here. But even while you're doing command briefings, you can still have a nice view of the outside. I like it. I like it a lot. That's good. That is... That's a really good design. True Joshi, this is amazing. It, it's absolutely... <laughs> I mean, I saw the outside. Like, I saw pictures of it when you sent it to me. But it's, it's blown my mind. This is really cool. Oh my god, look at that. Look at all the thrusters powering on, on at once. Oh my. Do you see all the controls I have? Okay, uh, let's do... Wait, does that actually control the back? Oh, that is cool. You have a button right here that controls the whole thing. He's got jump drives as well. Okay, let's go ahead and... There we go. Now we can take off. What happens? Here's the question. What happens if we turn off those babies? Oh my god, we still float. Not as fast. Not nearly as fast. We can't go anywhere really that fast when we turn off the hydrogen, but we still float. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and test out the fighting capabilities on that thing. The headquarters over there. So let's hop in the cockpit and we'll fly on over there. Because, I, you know, you can't show off a big red uh, duplicate without testing its fighting, can you? Alright. We're going to head on in that direction. It's actually kind of far, so this will be really interesting. Uh, let's turn off the hydrogen so we can go a little faster. There we go. How much hydrogen? It's got a lot of hydrogen, so we're good. And in fact, I don't know how many jump drives it has. I'm, I'm actually curious. Okay, it's got four jump drives, so it's just the same number as uh, as actual Big Red, as Big Red 1.0 has. But let's start heading on over there. But I think the back is so awesome because it's got... Look at those thrusters. Oh, we're, we're not going to make it over this mountain if we're not careful. We've got to be careful. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not too worried. This thing, this thing can hold its own. Well, you know, I say that and we get super ultra close to the ground right there. <laughs> but I feel like this is what I was thinking of when I had Big Red in mind. Because the whole idea was like a mothership kind of thing that could, could uh, hang out in the atmosphere and also hang out in space. Um... And this one kind of this one kind of works with it because I, I can turn off the thrusters like number seven and number eight. I can turn those off, and it's totally fine. It can just sit there. It can float forever. Look at that. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I really kind of wonder if there's anything behind this. I'm gonna break it. Oh, there's nothing. What about behind there? Oh, cargo containers. So I wonder if that's just where all the cargo is stored. I'll put that. It, it's, it's normal. It was never. I didn't do anything. So I've never actually done one of these before. I don't really know what to expect over here, but I imagine. Do we have firing capabilities? Oh yeah, we do. Oh my. Oh, that's a lot of rockets. Okay, we're gonna slow ourselves. Oh. Well, we're going a little fast for those rockets to fire properly, but uh, yeah, I don't know how many enemies are going to be here, or how many guns we're going to have to attack, or if we're even gonna stop in time. Let's aim straight up again like we did before so we can slow ourselves right down. There we go. Okay, we're kind of right outside the borders and I'm pretty sure... Anything else? I'm pretty sure they don't attack until you're like really close to them. So let's get a little closer to the ground because I, I want I want this to be a fair fight. Is that thing coming towards us or are we coming toward it? I feel like we're coming toward it. So it should probably... Oh, okay, it's firing. Is anything firing at us though? Maybe, maybe not. Let's get a little closer. <laughs> oh my god, all those rockets. I don't see anything firing at us. Oh no, they're totally firing at us. They are totally firing. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Okay, we need to we need to broadside them. Let's get down. There you go, missiles. Have a nice have a nice aim. There we go. I think we have, we might have all missiles firing now. Rocket launcher 2 is not working. That's not great. Reloading. Do I even have rockets in this thing? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> she started to come under fire. <laughs> Let me get out here and see what's happening. 
Oh my, she's taking quite a hefty hit from the front. Was this a little too strong to attack? I think it might have been. <laughs> you know, it certainly is a tough battle, but I, I can't help but feeling like we're winning. Kind of. It's, it's unclear who's winning, actually. We've totally destroyed this turret. We've destroyed the ones that were over here. They're no longer there. We've still got a couple of interior turrets in here, though, that are, that are not, uh, not faring very well. Oh, man. Oh, oh, they have one thing still firing. I think I've lost all of my ability to fire, like, rockets out the front. And that was actually lost pretty early on. So I, I don't have anything I can do. It's all the turrets at this point. But I think they've pretty much won the battle. Even though we took a lot of damage at the front, I think they might have won the battle. We'll kind of keep going around the side to see what there is. I feel like there's a point in this battle, or in this little battle, where I did not know who was going to win. I thought, you know, it was maybe a stalemate, but no. <laughs> Big Red 2.0 has easily won. Lots of damage was sustained to the front, and some of the thrusters are gone. Lots of the front weapons are gone, but she still fires. Her guns and her armor in, on, on all the sides have outlasted the base. And in fact, I can even hop out now and check it out. I don't know if there are any guns left. Certainly not here. It looks like there might be one in here. Yeah, this gun right here is still alive. And in fact, actually all these interior ones are still alive. Well, not for long though, apparently. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Alright, let's take a look. So. Big Red 2.0 has completely wiped out everything on this base right here. All of the buildings are gone. This thing's almost completely severed from its its uh, main base part. Uh, every turret, except for some of the interior turret ones, which I manually deleted at the end because they kept shooting for some reason, uh, was destroyed. All of the outs outside turrets that were guarding this base were completely destroyed uh, by Big Red 2.0. Let's see what damage Big Red 2.0 has sustained. Uh, weapons, weapons... Some minor damage on the side, not that much. Some damage to those things. Um, oh, lots of damage on the front. So pretty substantial damage on the front right here. And in fact, we can even see... Okay, so it looks like this is where the jump drives were. And... Oh, man. Wow, this looks cool. I'm taking a screenshot. This looks so cool. But yeah, I've got to say it held up pretty well. The front I could possibly use more armor, maybe. But then again, I did kind of go front in. And they just lit up the front like crazy. Uh, but everything else, yeah, it's, it's great. It survived. It's really good. I've got to say, this is pretty awesome. Let's take it to space for the outro. All right, all in all, I've got to say, this thing is pretty amazing. It looks beautiful on the outside and the inside. It's so much, it's so much slimmer on the outside than Big Red 1.0 is. Uh, it's longer, which is cool. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. But uh, no, it's so much cooler. I, I really like the, the luxury kind of thing. And uh, again, I feel like it's kind of like a cruise ship version of Big Red 1.0, which is really cool. Meant for like a large group of tourists and maybe even a larger crew uh, than Big Red 1.0 is. Its maneuverability is uh, far surpasses that of Big Red 1.0 and its combat abilities do too. So I, I do think it does earn the name Big Red 2.0 because it, it's just it's just better. It's a better version of it. So uh, True Joshi, really good job. I applaud you. <laughs> this is the first time anyone's ever actually redone one of my stuff. And I think it went really well. So great job. And I'm glad to show this thing off. Uh, if you guys want to check this out for yourselves, there's going to be a link in the description. Also, if you guys want to join our Discord, there's a link for that in the description as well. Uh, where you can meet a bunch of fun people <laughs> who play Space Engineers, among other things. Um, but if you guys like that video, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think of this thing compared to the original Big Red. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever. Space Engineers Edition. <laughs>